Daniel, in the name of Jesus, Pastor Ordner, Pastor Richardson, and all the ministers and friends, I greet you in the name of Jesus. And truly, God's eyes is on the sparrows, and I know He watches over me. And good to see you, uh, Sister Rosemary. I haven't seen you, I believe, since I left the quarter church as a little kid. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see everyone. We are here ending the year 2013 and of course when I was asked um, to greet, I prepared a little notice so I'm going to read it very quickly. But we are approaching the end of another year and truly the Lord has been with us. Pastor Ardner put it, well put it together this morning, well put Amen. together word this morning and we are the people who entered and we go through 2013. The year 2014 has already been prophesied and declared as the year of an open, the year of open door. Yes. The year of open door. Amen, amen. And, and, and some of us are getting ready to watch us of those we don't have no idea what it is, but it's that year. And when that door open, I want to challenge everyone wants to watch you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The year 2014 will be a time of full recovery and breakthrough for many of God's servants Amen. who has been faithful. Amen. If you are God's servant who has been faithful, you are to say praise the Lord. Praise the, Lord. the year 2014 is promised to be a year for you because you have been faithful and not grown weary in seeking after God. Amen. Amen. You will walk out of a life of limitation. And I want you to receive this in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And restrictions to the open door God has set before into a place of abundance in kingdom power and provision. Yeah. Before I say that, I just want to mention three things to expect in the year 2014. You can expect to experience the fullness of God's provision. I don't care what the year 2013 has been, you are going to walk out of 2013 into 14 with an assurance that you are going to receive God's provision and covenant promise in your life. And if you doubt me, you can read Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 7 and 9. It will be a year to leave the place of lack and restriction. I don't care who has restricted you in 2013. I dare you to leave that place of lack yes. and restriction. Yes. Yes. And you're going to walk in liberty and experience the abundant provision of the kingdom yes. of God. Yes. yes, yes, yes. That's what you can experience in 2014. You can experience safety from your enemies. Amen. And he shall give his angels charge over you. He shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. You will experience safety from your enemies. Where you will experience peace and freedom. If you don't be region around the twelve and was dead. Expect to see many prayers answered. Yes. And strongholds demolish. Yes. I feel like to tell somebody to speak to that stronghold right now and say, Mountain, get out of my way. Yes. I don't know about you, but Pastor, I'm getting tired of mountains. You gotta speak to some mountains. Somebody look at the mountain and say, Mountain, get out of my way. Somebody show me an attitude in this place. 
the internet. And these things are designed to get the children of God angry. Yeah. Yeah. If you ain't angry yet, I don't know what they're going to take, but I feel the like anger in my spirit. Yes. Come on now. Come on. And right there at the BVI uh, in Virgin Gotham, beautiful young girl, pictures up there, the age of 23. She was found yesterday in a house hanging. Speculation that she hanged herself. Young, beautiful girl. Now, I want to remind us that the enemy objective is treating. You don't have to wonder about the devil. It's clear already. He came to kill. Yes, yes. He came to steal. Yes. He came to destroy. Yes. You don't have to figure him out on that. He is a loser. Yes. But God said, I have come. Yes. That they may have life. Yes. Somebody say life. Yes. Life. Yes. Speak life over your family. Yes. Speak life over your children.